Welcome to this inaugural episode of Busted. The idea is to bring you facts and figures to support the kind of reporting I'm doing on a particular topic. And I do believe that unless you see the full extent of a problem in the numbers, you do not know what it is all about and how acute an issue is or how severe a problem is. What is the magnitude and extent of the problem? One needs to put out the numbers to understand that. And that is the whole idea of putting out this show called Busted for you. With the proliferation of internet, cybercrime today is a huge reality. It could be an online transaction, an online purchase, a dating app. It could be a young teenager falling into the trap of a predator. All of this sounds familiar, isn't it? But how is law enforcement doing in this country in terms of cracking down on these criminal networks, pursuing these internet crimes? Let's get you the facts and figures. In India, we have something called the National Cyber Crime Reporting Portal. It is supposed to take complaints with regards to cyber fraud, child sexual abuse cases, child pornography, cryptocurrency fraud, ransomware, hacking, all of these kind of cases can be reported in this portal. The portal is supposed to forward these complaints to the respective state departments. Remember, law and order is a state subject. I have some of the figures with me. Delhi, for example, out of the 2,16,739 complaints filed in this portal, from January 2022 to May 2023, only a meager 1.8% resulted in FIR. 2%, 2 out of 100 cases that are reported in this portal actually managed to get translated to an FIR. So what this essentially means is that the bulk of complaints that come in the portal are simply unattended. Police action can only be initiated if an FIR is registered. Now, when we approach this problem to the respective police department, what are the answers we get? For example, the Mumbai Police Commissioner says that as per Section 76 of the IT Act 2000, only police officers of rank inspector and above can investigate cyber cases and they simply do not have that kind of manpower. These departments do not have the wherewithal, do not have the competent people to initiate action in these cases and therefore why would they file an FIR when they do not have a team to investigate. Let's now look at figures from other states. The state that is doing the best in this regard happens to be Telangana. Out of 1,34,617, 23,267 FIRs registered which is 17.3%. Let's look at how Maharashtra is doing in this regard very badly. It's 1,95,409 complaints only 1,506 FIRs registered, 0.8%, not even 1% of the cases. Gujarat, Karnataka, 0.8%. Haryana, 1.7%. Bihar and Chhattisgarh, 1.5%. Delhi, as I mentioned, 1.8%. Tamil Nadu, 22 So if you are registering a complaint there in this portal, there is two out of 100% chance that an FIR will be filed. Cyber crime is a major issue in our country and the way the law enforcement is going right now, it is not acting as a deterrent. And there needs to be some serious thought in this regard. How do we restrict these crimes? Because the numbers are only getting larger by today. Thanks for watching.